Hello everyone, have I got a grocery story for you today. I'm Kristen here at Joyfully Thriving and I am here with this week's Frugal Grocery Haul and Caleb, what happened to us today? We got soaked. Where did we get soaked? Kroger. <laughs> Kroger, what happened? It started raining on us. How hard? Was it raining super hard? Yes. What did you do to try to stay dry? Put in a bag over my head. Did it work? No. No, it didn't. But it's but save some of my hair. Some of your hair stayed dry? Uh -huh. Oh, mommy got soaked. <laughs> he wanted to tell you about that. So, okay, let me tell you the story because real life couldn't make this up. So I taught school this morning. I'm gonna show you all the groceries and prices. Don't you worry, stay tuned. I went to school, taught this morning. My oldest son, Nathan, had a presentation today, so I stayed after to watch that right at 12.30. And afterwards, I saw the sky was getting dark. There were thunderstorms coming. So I was like, okay, Caleb, we're going to run in to Kroger super fast. I had scheduled a Walmart pickup order between 1 and 2. So again, the presentation finished at 1, actually. <laughs> ran into Kroger. I was like, this is perfect. We'll do this. Um, so ran into Kroger. We were literally shopped for all the groceries you're going to see in 20 minutes. Like, Caleb was awesome. Loaded him in the cart. We've just been in there about five minutes. All of a sudden you hear this downpour, like the kind of downpour where you hear it like echoing on the roof and everyone in the store stops and like looks up. It's like, oh boy. Okay. So finished up shopping, found pretty much everything I needed, which was great. There were no checkout lines open. So did the self checkout super quick. We're watching the rain. Like people are just standing at the door, not even going out. It's pouring that hard. So I get everything checked out. Um, give Caleb a bag to hold over the top of his head, not on his head, like over his head, like a little babushka. And he's trying to hold it on. We step out, it's still raining. It's not the downpour, but it's a pretty steady rain because as soon as I stepped off the curb, we had no jackets, it was nice today. I am drenched instantly. Um, it's windy, so Caleb, it's not really holding on. We get out to the van. We have a new van, actually. I bought a new van last week and can't get the door open. So I like, finally get it to open. Caleb climbs in the car and I'm like, Caleb, just scooch over. I'm literally throwing all the groceries on the floor at his feet <laughs> and just getting in as quick as we can. My entire backside is just drenched from being out there in this rain. Put the car back, hop in. I'm like, okay, whew, we're done. And then I realized as I'm getting ready to head to Walmart, I had an email that came that just said I had a shipment of books dropped off. I have an Etsy shop where I add Bible verses to children's books like Oh, the Places You'll Go, it's graduation season, it's definitely my bestseller. I have a couple other books I do too. And of course, a shipment of books was being delivered today in the rain and it said it had just been dropped off. So it's like, quick, we're going to run home, try to rescue this box of books, hurried home, Thankfully, the delivery man had tucked it right against the side of our drawer. The box is totally drenched, but miracle of miracles, I quick pulled them out. Books were okay. Put them inside out of the box. I was like, okay, I didn't even get Caleb out. I said, let's go to Walmart now to get the pickup order. Done this lots, was not doing it planning on the rain, just needed some things, thought it would simplify my life today. Well, unfortunately, it did not. <laughs> I pulled up. I clicked on the app that I was coming, like I always do, pulled up check that I was here, put in my spot, and I said, of course, Caleb by this time has fallen asleep right before we pulled into Walmart. I was like, that's okay, I'm just gonna let him sleep because we'll do a quick nap and then run home. Walmart and our house are pretty close, you know, it took me five-ish minutes or so. So I'm sitting there, no one's coming. I'm sitting there in five minutes, no one's coming. 10 minutes, no one's coming. I'm like, this is weird, they're always super fast. I call in, no one answers. They say we're helping other people. I'm not seeing people come out. It's not really raining at all by this point. So I'm just sitting there. Wait another couple minutes. Call again. No one's coming. So I was like, okay, I'm going to chat. I can't get out of the car now because Caleb's asleep. So I'm chatting with Walmart customer service and they're trying to help. And they're like, well, what number did you call? And I'm like, this is the number on the sign right there in front of me on my pickup slot seven. They're like, yeah, that's the wrong number. Well, why is it on the board then? Because that's what it's telling me to call. Thankfully, at that moment, our pickup order walks out. The guy himself was very nice and pleasant, apologized that no one picked up. I just realized it was the wrong number two. Loaded it up, 
head home. By this time, we've now have about 15 minutes. So I quickly woke Caleb up, unloaded all the groceries, and then we had to pile back in the car <laughs> to go back to school and do pickup. And that was my grocery pickup today. Quite the comedy of errors for sure. But let's talk about all the groceries I got in the midst of that. So I went to Kroger and Walmart, like I said, and full counter of groceries here, just some different restocking things and the variety of the weekly sales here at Kroger. I actually did get some more LaCroix. It is still two, um, 2 50 a box for eight of those, which is a really good deal for any sparkling water right now. And my Panera Sip Club is running up to be determined if I cancel it or not because they didn't offer me a deal this time. So I went ahead and grabbed four more of those, so right there. And then one of the weekly deals they are still running the sale of buy five things get a dollar off so these large size of triscuits and um, wheat thins it was all nabisco as well as like oreo were 2.99 a box my daughter emma loves triscuits and takes them every day so i restocked on four of those and grabbed one of the wheat thins also the goldfish were part of that sale and it was a dollar 49 i haven't bought those in a really long time and that's honestly the lowest price i've seen so i went and grabbed those one of the weekly deals when you click the coupon grapes were $1.77 a pound for us i know that price may vary based on your region blackberries were also 99 cents when you click the digital coupon grab two of those apples and this was the pink lady were 99 cents grabbed a couple of those unsweetened applesauce still a dollar 99 and then the weekly deal was on the dole fruit cups all varieties any kind of those were $1.99 so I grabbed my limit of five on those and unfortunately this was my only disappointment at Kroger the breakstone sour cream was 99 cents we go through so sour cream so much as some of you know and that was the only one left there I will definitely go back and check because that is a great price there so grabbed one of those that was the weekly sale and then this was also the weekly sale our half gallons of milk were $1.29. I'd love to know if that's the same for you or if that changed by gallon and price. Milk dairy prices I know do vary by region. Then I happened to notice this markdown deal and it was actually $4.39 for the organic applesauce and it was six unsweetened six cinnamon which my kids love and they don't expire for another year. It was 2025. It's still out a full year. So I grabbed two of those boxes because that is a fabulous price. If I can pay $5 for a 12 pack, which works out to about $1.67 for four, that is definitely my stock up price. So grab two of those. There actually were quite a few markdowns on the pouches and applesauce style. So you might want to check that out. I don't know if that will be at your Kroger as well. So that was everything I got at Kroger right there. And that total was $63.14. And then for my Walmart order that I waited so long for, it was 20 minutes when all was said and done that I waited. Thankfully, I had a little audio book to listen to. But I was restocking bread, $1.42. I, we have our dessert auction coming up as part of our school auction. I'm baking some desserts. I'm doing a monster cookie cheesecake and some white chocolate pudding cups, some mousse cups. I needed the white baking chips and this white chocolate pudding. So I grabbed both of those. I think it was $2.49. Again, it's... I don't like when you do a pickup, you don't get a printout of your receipt. And these were about $1.50, I think, a piece. It's the only place you can find the white chocolate, though, so I had to grab it there. I also needed whipping cream for that same dessert, so grab that as well. I'll try to share pictures of those next week in the haul. Greek yogurt for $3.49. Needed to restock some shortening for pie crust. I was totally out. It is up to five forty-eight for that container, and I tried a butter butter a butter crust. Excuse me, what am I saying? A pie crust with butter with my mom the other week. Yeah, it did not work well. So back to shortening for my pie crusts. Restocked with the ten-pound bags of flour, four forty-eight. The cheapest price I can still get flour currently. Twenty-five-pound bags are slightly cheaper, but they're just so awkward to use. So I stick to those. The um, grab two more of the dishwashing detergents to restock because I have been running low. Four forty-eight. Box of Fruit Loops for Caleb, two ninety-eight. Restocking the Suave um, shampoo, a dollar ninety-four. Needed some tomato sauces, restocked with six of those, right at 60 cents, I believe, 50 cents. One of the garlic powder, $1.12. And then, of course, I laughed because, of course, my order couldn't be delivered correctly. I ordered Colgate Kids, and they gave me one Colgate and two Crest. So I tried to return it, 
And they said, bring them into the store for your refund. And I'm like, it wasn't my fault. So I got back on to chat with them again. Thankfully, they fixed that. They said, donate them, which I'll take them to our local food pantry. I'll donate those two things. And they gave me the refund very quickly. So for the total of all those things at Walmart there, it was right at $50.09. All right, let's wrap this up for this month. And I have a really good deal to tell you about. Okay, so that's all the shopping did. I am finally dry after about four hours because then I was sitting in the car in all my wet clothes, but oh well. I knew you would all appreciate that story because it's real life. It's just the way things happen sometimes and what can you do but make the best of it. All right, so after Kroger and Walmart this week, my total for April is currently at $326.36 out of my monthly $500 budget for our family of four. We are a little more than halfway over the month and that leaves me with about $170 left to spend. I feel good about that. I have almost everything I need for the desserts this weekend. I do need to get to Meyer. That's the only place that sells the waffle cups that I need. I have everything for the month monster cookie cheesecake so that's good I should be fine on shopping until next week um, this week we have been eating kind of just trying to finish up some things from the freezer we did um, pork tenderloins on Sunday on Monday we had some meat we call them giant meatballs but it was really meatloaf I just shape into big balls my kids like it better that way with baked potatoes Tuesday we did poppy seed chicken our family's favorite tonight or Wednesday we did enchilada casserole Thursday, we'll do leftovers of the enchilada casserole and the poppy seed chicken. I always have at least one leftover night a week. And then Friday, we're actually going to make homemade pizza. Saturday, my husband and I will be out at our school's auction for this year. And I'll do something easy for the kids, probably pasta, just because it's easy and they love it. So that's our menu plan for the week. Very simple. One of the ways that I keep our grocery budget low is by shopping the sales. And I go wherever the deals are. Well, you guys know that I go to Sam's about once a month. I did not go there this week because I actually was just there, but they are running a really great deal right now. They are offering a year's membership to Sam's for only $14. It's normally $50 and I'm telling you, the price of chocolate chips alone makes this deal so worth it. That, and it's a really good price for chicken, like it's my go-to place for stocking up on chicken. I have several other things. We'll talk more about that, but this deal is only good through the end of April, April 30th. So if you have a Sam's near you and you are curious to check it out, I can guarantee that you will make the price of $14 back. Like it's a no brainer because you also get the discount on gas, which ours is definitely has great gas prices. And like I said, then if you're just stocking up on chocolate chips and chicken, and there's plenty more deals to be found, you can totally make that price because $14 is for the whole year. So if you're curious and you want to give it a try, you can check it out joyfullythriving.com backslash 14, the number 14. I'll put the link right there and in the description. You can check it out. That offer is good now and only will be going on till April 30th. So if you're curious, check it out. Again, joyfullythriving.com backslash 14, and you can get a Sam's membership and check out those deals with me too as I am shopping there throughout this upcoming year. All right, that was my haul this week. Let me know the best deals you found, and I will be back next Thursday with another frugal haul for you. Thanks so much for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video.